Good afternoon, citizens of Aurora. We are here at the Aurora City Hall. My name is Guillermo Trujillo. I'm your deputy mayor, and we are here to promote Slam the Scam Day and give you some information on how not to be victimized. Uh, we have here um, Sergeant Gallardo and uh, Social Security Agent Josephine Mueller, who are going to provide you with some information. Hello, my name is Edward Gallardo with the Aurora Police Department. We're partnering with the city and with the Social Security Administration to provide information to people about scammers and to how to slam the scam. Josephine. Thank you so much, uh, Deputy Mayor and Sergeant Gallardo for inviting me here. I wanna thank the city of Aurora and the Aurora Police Department for inviting me as a guest here to talk about SLAM, the scam day. My name is Josephine Mueller and I am a public affairs specialist with the Social Security Administration. And today I wanna go ahead and share that March 7th, 2024 is National Slam the Scam Day. This is our fifth annual National Slam the Scam Day. And I'm very excited to be here with all of you today. So thank you for being with us here today. And this day is designated by the Social Security Office of the Inspector General to raise awareness of government imposter scams. And we wanna to continue to spread this awareness across the United States. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pass it over to you, Sergeant Gallardo. Thank you. The city of Aurora and the Aurora Police Department are collaborating with the Social Security Administration to provide you critical information regarding social security scams. We are here to warn you about telephone scammers pretending to be government employees. Some of these scammers may say threatening things to you like, you will be arrested if you don't make payments or provide personal information. Do not fall for these tricks. Josephine? Yes, in 2023, the Federal Trade Commission received over 200,000 um, of these scams. And with Social Security as the most frequently impersonated agency, over 14% said they lost money to a scammer. And that's more than 126 million um, on Social Security scams that was lost. And to prevent further losses, we urge everyone to use caution when receiving calls from someone claiming to be from a government agency. People should also be on the lookout for a new version of the scam. Fraudsters are also emailing fake documents in attempts to get people to comply with their demands. Victims have received emails with attached letters and reports that appear to be from Social Security or the Office of Inspector General. The letters may use official letterhead and government jargon to convince victims they are legitimate. They may also contain misspellings and grammar mistakes. These calls and emails are not from us. Real Social Security employees will never threaten you for information or money. And if you receive a threatening call, please just hang up. Never give the caller your personal information like your Social Security number or your bank account. Or send any money in any forms of cash, gift cards, wire transfers, or prepaid debit cards. Please report these scam calls to our law enforcement, the Office of Inspector General at oig.ssa.gov. This please share this information with your friends and family. We don't want anyone to fall victim to these scams. The Social Security Administration uses emails, text messages, and social media to provide information of their programs and services. They will not, however, request personal or financial information through these methods. Sometimes we will send emails with information that is particular to your needs, usually after a discussion with you over the phone or in person. So if like you recently applied for benefits, we may call you just to verify your application. And we will never threaten you or be aggressive with you. So that's a red flag if you receive a call like that. Please feel free to reach out to us directly at 1-800-772-1213 if you're ever unsure if it's us. It is important to be aware of scammers pretending to be from Social Security. Reports about fraudulent phone calls from people claiming to be from Social Security continue to increase, and recent reports have indicated unknown callers are using increasingly threatening language in these calls. If you receive a suspicious call from someone alleging to be from Social Security, hang up and then report details of the call to the Office of the Inspector General. Yes. 
Social Security combats fraud and has a zero tolerance for fraud. Social Security aggressively investigates and prosecutes those who commit fraud against our programs. We are working diligently at national, regional, and local levels to combat fraud that undermine our mission to serve the American public. We offer the option to add an e-service block or direct deposit fraud prevention block to your record if you are receiving benefits. Here are some measures you can take to prevent fraud. Do not routinely carry your social security card. Never say your social security number aloud in public. Beware of phishing scams, such as emails, internet links, and phone calls to trick you into revealing personal information. You can also create a My Social Security account to keep track of your records and identify any suspicious activity. Consider adding blocks to your account with us. The e-service blocks prevents anyone, inclu including you, from seeing or changing your personal information on the internet. Once we add the block, you or your representative will need to visit your local field office to request removal of the block. We also have um, prevention blocks for our direct deposit. So I encourage you, if you don't already have a My Social Security account, to please create one because that is going to go ahead and assist you in any type of fraud prevention. You can report fraud if you suspect someone of committing fraud, waste, or abuse against Social Security. You can contact the Office of the Inspector General's Fraud Hotline at 1-800-269-0271 or submit a report online. Social Security will not threaten you, tell you that your Social Security number has been suspended, call you to, to demand an immediate payment, ask you for credit or debit card numbers over the phone, require a specific means of debt repayment, like a prepaid debit card, a retail gift card, or cash. Demand that you pay a Social Security debt without the ability to appeal the amount you owe, nor will they promise a Social Security benefit approval or increase in exchange for information or money. Social Security will not request personal or financial information through email, text messages, or social media. Social Security will sometimes call you to confirm you filed a claim or an application to discuss other ongoing business with you, uh, with us, if you have that ongoing business with us. We may mail you a letter if there's a problem. We may mail you that letter letting you know that you need to submit payments and you will have um, appeal rights on there with detailed information about options to make payments and the ability to appeal that decision. We sometimes use emails, text messages, and social media to provide general information, not personal or financial information on, it, on our programs and services that you have signed up to receive these messages. Recognizing the basic signs of a scam is helpful in stopping fraudulent activity. Remember, scammers pretend to be from an agency or organization you know to gain your trust. Scammers say there is a problem or a prize. Scammers pressure you to act immediately. Scammers tell you to pay in a specific way. Please remind your clients, friends, and family members to please hang up on suspicious calls from government officials calling about a problem with your social security number or account. Never make payments with a gift card, wire transfers, or by mailing cash. Report social security scams to oig.ssa.gov. Once again, I would like to thank the city of Aurora and the Aurora Police Department for having me here as a guest. And I wanna thank you, our viewers, for being here with us and watching this very important segment today. Together, we will remain vigilant against government imposter scams and help protect people from fraud. I would like to also add, if you could, that it's not just the Social Security Administration, but it's also local government officials, municipalities, that will not force or obligate you to go and make payments or threaten you in any way. Please go to your local city hall and address those issues. If not, please hang up the phone. Any employee who is representing a municipality or city will have an identification identifying who they are and what they're doing at your location. If they're calling you, you can also ask for their names and identification numbers so they can you can verify their employment with the city before you address anything and provide any important information. Don't be a victim. Please do a little bit of legwork and uh, it will be uh, paid at the long run. Thank you. Thank you.